It's one of the things that we strive to do is help people build self-awareness, build what some people might even call a type of consciousness. Um, you know, babies are not born self-aware. The theory of mind, which is interesting, when you watch how a child grows, their sense of self and having an independent mind of other people develops. It develops not only in the first few hours and weeks and months, but years of life. And what you find actually is human self-awareness continues to develop, and many, many adults are, well, there's a broad range of self-awareness. Some people that are not very self-aware at all, some people that are highly self-aware. Now understand self-awareness and morality may have a flirtatious relationship, but they don't, they don't even go hand in hand. You have people who are not self-aware at all, who are just really pure, innocent gems, and you have people who are highly self-aware that aren't very, very nice. So morality and the understanding of compassion and building compassion is another dimension that we, we strive to, to build. So we like to build compassionate self-awareness in people that want that. And there's some people who say, no, you know, I don't want that. That's great. Because it's not something that we, we want to foist upon people. But the advantages of being self-aware and the advantages of being more compassionate uh, seem, for the most part, to outweigh any reluctance to go in that direction. I would agree. I mean, as I've gone, as I've been doing this work for the past six years, I, I would, that's been my experience. I mean, as you become, build more self-awareness slowly, life becomes better, life becomes richer. And you, I mean, specifically in the case with Tourette's, I've been able to become less reactive to my body. Mm -hmm. And I've been able to take more control in that way, mm -hmm. which is incredible. Well, thank you. I mean, well, you participate in it. Uh, so, you know, as the thing grows, it's certainly grown far beyond what I initially conceived and it's really a study for me and an ongoing learning process to grow this this body of knowledge